Madam yeah. Chair, I move that we recommend Article 20 and consider it to have been read as written. I'll second that. Thank you, Mr. Henderson. This is an article to uh, do improvements to streets. The total is 650000 The town will pay a share of that, and the state highway block grant will cover $307,854 of it. So you have a substantial sized matching grant. Madam Chair. Further questions? Yes. Yes. Christy, what is the fiscal impact on this? This will be printed. Point one nine seven. Point one nine seven. Point one nine seven. That's nineteen point seven cents, right? Moving my decimal point almost correctly now, right? <laughs> what? Almost okay. twenty cents. Good almost point. 20 Good cents. point, Jenny. Okay. Now this is supposed to be. Uh, it says uh, appropriation would be offset by uh, a state highway block grant of seven thousand eight hundred fifty-four dollars. So that means that we're actually uh, estimating the tax based on the difference between six hundred fifty thousand and three hundred seven thousand. Christy, is that correct? That's a yes. Thank you, Christy. Uh, Madam Chair, this is uh, apparently a, uh, you know, put up one dollar, get another dollar back, more or less. It's a little rough in that estimate, but it's approximately that. Basically matching one to one. I'm okay with it. However, I have a question, and this comes up, and I think I mentioned this earlier, but I used to object to having Public Works put in an article like this for roads and listing 20 roads and 15 of the 20 never got done. Mm. And I have been begging to have specific streets on these articles that where we can guarantee the public that those streets will be done if the article passes. But I have had questions, both from the public and members of the Budget Committee, if there is money left over. And I think I asked you, Chris, uh, what, a year, year and a half ago, are you, if you think you're going to have a little money left over uh, from the project that you were doing then, Belmont and whatever, you said um, Mary Batchelder Road, so you had right on target what you knew would be the next area that needed to be done. Do you have other streets in mind, or do you think this money will, will be needed to complete just those three projects? Because you might, you, we might Fred want to make an amendment to this? What do you guys think? Because I don't want somebody yelling that they did those streets, they've got money left over, and it's illegal for them to spend it on something else. We rely on the CIP that we put together and that the plan were approved. So yep. going back to that document, that document reads crack ceiling, various roads, Ann's Lane. Narrow industrial on Drake Side. Drake Side Road in the area of the trussell. Uh, other right. work on Drake Side Road, a major portion of it, Merrill Industrial Drive, and Lafayette Road, which would be part of the sewer project. Doesn't say Lafayette Road in here. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? I don't want people screaming because they've done it in the past that he, there was money left over, but it's illegal to spend it because you're doing it on streets other than what was stipulated or in addition to what was stipulated in the article. When we sat here a year ago, yes, sir. I remember giving the board some of the road names that, and right. asked that we not tie my hands by listing them all right? because it wouldn't, it's not, doesn't give us the ability to manage and to react. Right. Um, to that effort, um, it was pointed out to me that, for instance, I, I spoke about Acorn Road, and it w we did not do it because, come to find out, I don't really own it. Right. It's a, one of my winter street maintenance roads. Right. We're attempting to work with the residents to uh, alleviate that situation, but um, legally I could not expend public dollars on there. Uh, because we didn't, uh, you did work with me, and we did not spe specify every single street. Last winter, a portion of Heritage Drive, basically in from Exeter Road 
to where the loop begins literally fell apart. It was, uh, there wasn't a parcel of asphalt bigger than this microphone left in the uh, spring. So that was added to the work. Um, well, I just want to, to make sure load. if you find that you actually have some money after you've completed what you've got here, that people aren't saying, hey, it's illegal to spend that because we weren't more. Well, for instance, we didn't spend all the paving money last year. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're going into the springtime with a, probably a couple hundred thousand, and we will uh, be using that for crack sealing of other roads, specifically Lafayette Road, right. the portion that we didn't finish, the upper section. Okay. Um, we won't be spending it on Reconstructing salt, an sand, entire road. So are other things. If okay. it's paving, it's going to go to paving. Okay. Because that's what the article said, okay. and that's and I and I have the administration backs me on that. I just want to make sure that we're not getting problems one way or the other. Okay, nope. appreciate that. You understand the intent, and there is a sizable offset here by the state highway block grant, and everybody wants to see roads done. Get a lot of growling over roads. In favor of article, in favor of recommending Article 20, the Paving Highway Block Grant. Unanimous. Well, it's